Hi, Trains Nation. Welcome to another episode of Trains Video Newswire. I'm Steve Sweeney with Trains Magazine, and this is Drew Halverson, uh, Senior Graphic Designer for Trains. Uh, Drew is filling in for Jim and Brian and David, who are all out on the road on assignment. Uh, Why can't we get on assignment? We're stuck here. I don't know. What's up with that? I, I guess know. I didn't pull it out of the pull the right number out of the hat or something like that. That's coming up. Yeah, that's coming up. we got numbers in the hat here in just a minute. Uh, but we wanted to give you some of the top stories from Changes Newswire this week, and we wanted to talk about some of those. Of course, if you haven't heard already, Amtrak's Palmetto uh, got into an accident last Sunday morning, uh, struck a backhoe, killed two crew members. Very tragic. It's, uh, it's the kind of thing that we don't like to see, but we're seeing a lot of recently. That is true. That is true. And it's, mm -hmm. it's nothing that uh, the railroads obviously don't enjoy it. Um, we following the industry don't enjoy it, but it's, it's one of those sad realities. I mm -hmm. think uh, these accidents do happen. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sad. So we're following that. We're going to have a story this coming Monday on, uh, on what we know, what we don't know, and what should have happened if all of the pieces uh, fit together correctly, if Amtrak's positive train control system, uh, if all the flagmen were in place, what would have normally happened and then piece together what didn't. Um, interesting thing that just happened a little earlier today, Drew, uh, the Department of Justice filed with the Surface Transportation Board, um, filed a motion against Canadian Pacific and their bid for, uh, for Norfolk Southern. The third bid, right? The th well, the what most recent number is the most recent? It's, okay. it's, it's a third bid, but Canadian Pacific wants a kind of a, a, a special trust agreement. Okay so that they can cut Hunter Harrison loose to go take over NS in the meantime. Sounds familiar. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's strange. Um, the, the, um, uh, the, the statement from Department of Justice said something to the effect of, um, why let CP scramble the eggs before the deal is done? But it was kind of weird language. You should like that. You're, you're a farmer. You're into farming. Yes, I am. You get that we, reference. We raise yeah. eggs. But yeah. So, Drew, what, yeah. what kind of stories caught your eye this week so far? Well, a whole bunch. You know, okay. Newswire well, you got, you got had a lot there. of good stuff. Yeah, you did a good job this week keeping the site up to date. Um, mm -hmm. Well, we all know rail traffic has seen a dip uh, this last quarter. The economy has been rough on everybody. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's interesting to see the numbers, you know, actually how many car loads. And, and, and what numbers you got here. there. I see it's like a... a Dip, dip of a uh, yeah, and a half? yeah, thirteen point eight percent carloads fewer than the same time last year. So that's that's across the board. Intermodal's up, which is good, mm -hmm. uh, but you know coal, coal and uh, other energy way down. So yeah. we don't like to see that. But there's a lot of good stories too. Yeah, you know, I, um, I, I there's remember a new this short one. line. This was pretty good. Yeah, this this came from uh, uh, Robert Scott out in uh, Pacific Northwest. Robert Scott, good friend mm -hmm. of the magazine. Um, to see a new short line pop up, Genesee, Wyoming, yeah. in this case, uh, the Olympia in Belmore, mm -hmm. taking over a lot from Tacoma Rail. Mm -hmm. uh, they recently severed an 11-year deal with BNSF out there. But so when we have these tough times, it's good to see short lines jumping in and, and business picking up in small yeah. ways. Stepping into the breach. That Absolutely. Was pretty good. Uh, there was one story I was going to mention to you and see what opinion you had on it. Uh, we just got word this week that R.J. Corman uh, Railroad Group has repainted a uh, Baldwin switcher in That's cool. bright red, bright fire engine red, or R.J. Corman red colors, mm -hmm. and they've restored it to, to like new, and they're running around in East Texas. So that's really... Can't go wrong. Can't yeah. go wrong with bright red diesels, mm -hmm. in my opinion. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. CP you... thinks the same thing, I think. Yes. Yes, they do. Kansas when, City when Southern? They bright red. Bright red. Speaking uh -huh. of bright red, yeah. What do you what do you got there on Kansas City? Well, infrastructure improvements. Uh -huh. Again, we talk yes. about the positivity exactly in these tough economic times. KCS is going to put twenty mil into I think it's five or six different states. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. this Illinois. is good news. Yeah. No, I mean uh, Arkansas, Louisiana. Let's see. Let's see if you got yep. it right. Yep. Oklahoma, nope. Missouri, and Kansas. Yep. Track upgrades. You name it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be beautiful. It's good stuff. Um, <laughs> Wanted to, wanted to mention something else, too. We had a, uh, a really interesting story from Haley Enoch in Texas on um, Mexican farmers who have blocked Ferromex yes. main lines, which yes. is kind of unusual and strange. So they're getting just beyond that now. But, uh, you know. Sunny. They were shut down for, what was it, almost two days? Yeah, al almost Over two days. Over span of two days uh, yeah. that affected all cross-border traffic, tourism, you name it. Mm -hmm. That was a big deal. Yeah. It's kind of kind of unusual. We uh, haven't seen that st stuff here in the states, but it does happen in Europe quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, Drew, now now's the sort of the uh, the fun and frivolous part of the uh, part of the broadcast. Oh, it gets we fun. Have to, All right. We have to pay some bills. 
Okay. Uh, what we're what we're going to do here is we're going to talk to you about the uh, about the live streaming events that Jim Rin is at this weekend in North Carolina, and Jim is following what locomotive? Have you ever heard this before? It's called the six one one or something. Uh, six eleven? No, North I think that's Port. a steam engine, right? It's a, yeah. Okay. It's a steam engine. Yeah. T Thomas and Friends. <laughs> uh, no, Norfolk and Western number six eleven. It's going to be um, steaming on the loops. Yeah. In Western North Carolina, but we're going to hold off just all the details on that. But you can find out everything you need to know on Train's website, trn.trainsmag.com. Uh, there's a slider box on the home page, and then if you click under videos, you can find um, big, big streaming, big steaming. He's uh, out there pages. right now, right? Yes. Doing Jim, it live Jim streaming. Is out, Jim is out there now. He's preparing for the live stream. So, Jim, if you see this video between now and when you have to get up at O-Dark 30, <laughs> have a cheer wine on us. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting, and it's nice to see 611, um, you know, rumbling up in the mountains. It is. That's another thing we've noticed over the past few years. Yeah. All these restoration projects to see big steam back on the rails mm -hmm. is really good. Oh, it is. It definitely is. And in this particular location, uh, it's going to be nice to see. Um, and that that brings us to uh, to the trivia portion of our broadcast. Okay. Okay. Now, last week, last week, and this is what the hat is for. Last week. Uh, we asked you, our lucky audience members, who Can get I to shake listen. The hat? That you looks go like ahead, fun. get to shake the hat. Uh, you get to see. Uh, excuse me. Uh, we asked you um, of, about three railroads. Three railroads in the United States had a tunnel motor. A tunnel motor is what you use in you know tunnels to not suffocate your crew members with exhaust. And and we asked you which railroad had them first. And the correct answer is. I would say Southern Pacific. And it is Southern Pacific. All right. Southern Pacific had them first. And a few of you said EMD. Yeah, we know EMD had them. <laughs> covers before, everybody. So, but it's yeah. the railroad that we were talking about. And so the, the, the lucky winner, chosen at random. So these are all correct answers. These are all the correct answers. Okay, you what kind of hat do we have here, by the huh? way? Oh, this is a, uh, this is a uh, Catskill Mountain Railroad hat. Okay, cool. Uh oh we cool. can't talk. Yeah, lots of stuff going on <laughs> there. Right, so here. Drew, pick a name out of the hat. Oh, I picked yeah, it. Okay, pick raise it up. I don't want to okay. see in the hat. Okay. All right, pick a name. Um, drum roll. And the winner is F. Douglas Bess. F. Douglas Bess. You are the smartest person to answer the question because Drew pulled your name from this hat. What does he get? What does he get? He gets to be mentioned in lavish terms on this broadcast. <laughs> and you have, so congratulations. Uh, the, 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 the question for this week, when you see this video, put your comments, respond to your comments in down the hat. here. Oh, down, down, there. Down, down below, below the video. So it's right down here. See, because yeah. you haven't done this before. You don't do video yeah. work. It's down here, the comment section. Don't send us an email. Put it in the comment section below so everyone can see and argue with you. And, uh, and if you sure. don't do it there, put it on the back of a $20 bill. Put it with my name uh, and send it in. Not Drew's name, my name. And, uh, and we'll be glad to, uh, be glad to entertain Who's your Who's the graphic answer. designer here? Yeah, exactly. I think I could use the 20. <laughs> we'll <laughs> yeah, probably cut that that's out. That's true. That's true. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> so this week's question is, Jim Wren, well, it's more of a statement. Jim Wren is going to be in Western North Carolina in his old stopping grounds. Western North Carolina. I don't, I don't know how to do yeah, a good I, southern accent down there. Jim's the only one. And, and Appalachia. I know that. And Jim is going to be following Norfolk and Western 611. The on, steam engine. The steam engine on the loops. What famous loops. railroad owned the loops? That's the question. So That's put, the it, question. put it down here. The blank railroad or the blank railway owned the loops. And if you haven't been to the loops, the loops are very cool. Yes. I've been there once, not long enough. Yes. Um, but very, very picturesque. Mm -hmm. I mean, really railroading in action like you've never seen it yes. before, especially if you're a Midwest guy like me or, or a rural New Yorker like yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're going to see it climbing up grades and you're going to see. Uh, you're going to see multiple. Insane grades. Insane grades, multiple vantage points, and this thunderous diesel engine sound crawling up through the, you should have up through the mountains. You shook the hat like that. That was a I lot more. Well, I can do that, that was lavish. Time. I can do that next time. Yeah. I can do that next time. And it's really cool, though, because the train wraps around yeah. you as you stand right in the middle. In the loops. Yeah. No, we're not. It's not Chicago. We're not in the loop. We're talking about the loops. So, um, so there's that. So the question one more time. The question one, one more time is Jim Rin and 611 are going to be appearing on live streaming camera from the loops this weekend. What railroad owned those loops? Okay. In the beginning. In, well, we don't want to go back to the 1850s, but okay. in the beginning. So anyway, so okay. put your answers on the comment section below. Uh, also, and down... then we'll print them out. You'll cut them up and yep. put them in that exactly. hat. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. And, uh, so and there's a special bonus video that I'm putting down below, uh, just above the comments that you can see from uh, Wheel Rail Interaction, where I'll be going to in Nevada in May. Really fabulous. 
And Let's talk about April, though, too. I wanted to get um, to this. April 30th? April 30th. Laker Rail? We're going to get that next time. Next time. Okay, I guess you'll have to wait until yes. next time. Wait till next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Right. For everyone at Trains Magazine, I'm Steve. I'm Drew. Be safe out there. I don't want to be to be correcting you this, this way. Guy. Excuse me. I Excuse me. Uh, he sounds like your, Foghorn your, Leghorn your, here. Can anyone take this guy seriously? I don't. Your, you know, your transportation I don't. policy it, is look, just in the garbage bin. He keeps bin. talking. There's no policy It was there. my question. I don't even know it what you're question, talking about. It was my question, quite frankly. Your he question. asked me the question. Oh, you're interrupting. I don't need to do this. Look, I don't even don't know Don't belong Joe anywhere Portman. near Joe railroads Portman. and railroads. I have no idea who he is. I have no idea. That's what I'm saying. Next question. Thanks for watching this Trains Newswire video. If you enjoy what you saw, please consider watching some of our other full-length videos. Big Boy, On the Road to Restoration. Heavy Halls, 611 in Steam. They're all available from our website, kalmbachhobbystore.com.